So the My Colony 0.83.0 release should have just about hit all devices by now. And so in token of the uh, release, I kind of wanted to do a quick episode today talking about trade because 0.83.0 did make a couple of changes to trade. The first of which is the new auto trade feature that has been added to the Galactic Board of Trade. So the auto trader, the reason behind it was because I noticed over the probably last six months or so, positive activity on the GBT has kind of been low. Uh, for many resources, there's nothing available, um, and especially for newer players, you'd go onto the GBT and the lot sizes would be so big, they wouldn't even show up and you wouldn't be able to afford anything, so there something had to be done about the Galactic Board of Trade, so that's why I implemented the new Auto Trader, and the way it works is that you can turn on Auto Trade on a per resource basis, and turning it on requires that you have government level 2 at least which is a capital or consulate level two. And if you have one of those, you can turn on the auto trader and the way it works is when one of your resources is maxed out on storage, I think the cutoff is like 99% storage, um, the game will automatically submit a trade for your resources for you and put it up for sale on the GBT. So that instead of just having a warehouse full of ore that you're not using, you will actually put some on the market. And the game automatically puts it in several lot sizes. It does a really small lot so that new players can buy them, a medium-sized lot, and then a, just a huge lot so anybody can buy it. And the idea behind this was to kind of keep the Galactic Board of Trade more fully stocked so that new players would actually be able to buy something. And so far, it's only been out there for a few days, but I think it's working all right. I just scanning through the GBT here and pretty much every resource has contracts for sale now at a wide range of lot sizes and prices. So I'm hoping it's going to be a positive change for the Galactic Board of Trade. Also I should mention the Auto Trader will buy resources for you if you're totally out of stock and it always tries to look for the best price for you. And so you can head over to the APAPS forums to see a more detailed breakdown of the Auto Trader. Obviously there need to be tweaks done to it to improve it, and I want to add some more customization options to it, but so far, I think it's working all right. Just let me know in the forum if it's not. I really hope the feature will improve the usage of the Galactic Board of Trade, and especially for new players, give them more options to actually buy things. I also made it so that when you're importing goods from, say, the lander, if you're importing food, or from the Galactic Freight, or other buildings like that, Galactic Board of Trade contracts will show up in there now, so that's just another way players can buy stuff in the game from each other. And so I'm hoping this thing really improves trade. I also wanted to talk about something I've been thinking of for a while, which is an upcoming concept known as Trade Routes that would use starships, which would let colonies set up automatic trade routes with each other. And I was thinking about it the other day, and in a lot of ways... I can't see a point of the trade routes other than it being neat, especially with the gifting and the Galactic Board of Trade. Like, why would you even bother setting up a trade route? Especially requiring starships, it'd be a really expensive thing to do. And so I'm thinking before I do this, there needs to be a new type of resource or something that's maybe unique to each civilization and that can't be gifted and can't be posted on the Galactic Board of Trade. And the only way to trade it would be using the trade routes. Maybe some new expensive, uh, I, don't, I don't know, some kind of new resource. And so I'm thinking before I implement the trade routes, I'm going to give each civilization some kind of unique, something that's just unique to that civilization or maybe unique to that planet type only that can't be gifted and can't be traded on the Galactic Board of Trade, late game type resources, but resources that can be used by each civilization but can only be obtained from certain planets. That will actually give the trade routes a purpose before I implement them. Otherwise, like, I'm going to go through all this time implementing it, and it's like, what's the point? No one's going to use it. So I think the first thing is to make a use for it and then implement it. So that's what I'm going to do there. And one last thing I wanted to talk about on trade is I've kind of had this idea in my head for some time, and maybe I'll implement it, is a new game that ties into the My Colony server that is totally just dealing with the Galactic Board of Trade called something like Colonial Trader where you're really just a merchant who's buying and selling commodities on the Galactic Board of Trade. And you would have to um, build storage, like warehouses, to hold all your goods, and you basically just trade in contracts. It's like a online commodities exchange simulation. 
And so take all the city building and everything out of it. You're just buying and selling goods. Maybe it'd start with a certain amount of money and just work your way up and try to become the ultimate colonial trader. And I think that game would be another way to get more activity going on the Galactic Board of Trade. And maybe I could tie that in somehow with Starships too. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the forum what you think about such an idea. I think it could be fun for someone who just, you know, you could be just sitting there on your toilet doing trades with Colonial Trader. Maybe I'll buy some ore today, you know. So I think it's something that could be fun. Let me know what you guys think, whether it'll be worth the time or not to implement it. Yeah, my thought on it is just a game where it's just you build storage and you play on the Galactic Board of Trade, like a stock trader game, but tied into the My Colony server. Could be fun. Let me know what you think. Now, there's a lot more going on in the last update and coming soon in the next update, but I really just wanted to talk about trade today, and you might be able to tell from my voice, I've kind of had a cold in the last few days, and I'm not totally enthusiastic about talking and podcasting, so I'm probably just going to end it here. <laughs> I know it's kind of a short podcast, but I just wanted to get that trade information out there and let everybody know that the new update should be out to my colony, so please go ahead and check it out if you haven't played in a while. There's a lot of cool new stuff in it, and there's a lot more to come. I want to thank everyone for playing the game. I want to thank everybody for listening to the podcast, and stay tuned because there's a whole lot more to come. Bye for now.